that's a big one too. Oh man. Yeah, that's a fish. Man. That's what we're looking for right there. You know, when it comes to the things that make me successful on the water, there's nothing more important than what I'm standing on right here. The right boat can make or break you. Wow. It's tough out here. Rainstorms, big wind, waves, stumps, logs, bushes. If I can't count on my boat, you can count me out of the competition. Think about it. Can you imagine another tool that has to be towed at 70 miles an hour for 2,000 miles all across the country, dropped in the lake, five foot waves, running full speed for hours in any weather condition, and do this day after day all year long? Sure, I can't catch fish without good tackle and the right baits, but I can't even get to the fish without the boat. When I'm out on the road fishing tournaments, a lot of times I'm gone for six or eight weeks at a time and I've got to carry a ton of tackle and gear. My new Nitro Z9, it'll hold everything that I need. Check out the storage that this boat has. This big front center storage, I can hold a lot of tackle in. Carry a lot of spinner baits, crank baits, jerk baits, things like that in that box there. On the side over here, I've got extra large rod boxes with a rod organizer built into them, so I can keep 25 or 30 rods in here if I need to. I've got the same thing on the opposite side, I keep a spare trolling motor in there, and then if I have a few extra rods that I want to bring, I'll put them in that side there too. Where I'm sitting, this is where I like to work. I've got the split boxes here. I can get in one side, get out the bait that I need. I've got everything that I need. I've got my scent pliers, clippers, anything that I need to work on them right here on this. If I got to get to this side, I just slide over here and open this one. I've got a trash receptacle right here. I can put my used worms, extra line, things like that. I've got a cooler that's insulated, it'll keep all my drinks cold all day long, any of my snacks or sandwiches. Right here, this is a really neat feature, I've got these two slide out accessory boxes, one on each side that I can keep extra things. I keep spare line, my sunglasses, my wallet keys, things like that in there. Then I've got a slide out measuring stick that's easy to access in case I need to measure a bass. Back in the rear deck, I have two big storage compartments that I try to keep a lot of my heavier gear because it really helps with the boat's performance. On this side, I got a lot of plastics, big bulk bags, and then I even have some in some of the Plano 3700 series tackle boxes. I can carry a lot of plastic worms in this box right here. In the middle, I've got my two Guardian live wells. Hopefully, I'm going to have a really big catch in the tournament. These are always going to keep them alive. On the opposite side, I carry all my tools and little knick-knack items, things that I don't need to get at that often. Trolling motors props, marker buoys, extra parts and things like that that hopefully I won't ever need, but you gotta have them just in case. Just look at the overall layout of the Z9. Every square foot of this huge deck reveals an awesome combination of features that make it perfect for fishing. Up front, you'll find an 82-pound thrust motor guide trolling motor that is simply a machine with a gator mount for toughness. The deck has an anti-fatigue pad built right in for all-day fishing comfort, something I appreciate for those long days on the water. Surrounding the super-wide deck is a low-profile gunnel that increases the fishable deck space and keeps you closer to the action. And check out this recessed trolling motor pedal. It gives me the balance and comfort that I need to run this motor even when it's four or five foot waves out there. This console not only looks great, it's designed well. It's got a built-in Lowrance X25C with GPS, and it also has the best instrumentation for all the critical functions of the boat. It has an oil reservoir gauge, a digital clock, and all of these are lighted, multi-function gauges, and they feature chrome bezels. To the right of the steering wheel, you'll find a switch panel that has soft touch switches to control all your functions. One touch, and you're ready to roll. And check this out. There's plenty of leg room underneath this console. I can swing my legs out quickly without banging my knees. And this efficiency saves me time because every cast counts. Oh, God. There's a nice one. 
just can't stay in the water. He had it swallowed here too. Solid keeper. Hook. Excellent. Let me tell you about a couple other cool features of my Nitro Z9. The seats on this boat are awesome. It's got an overstuffed cushion and it's got a built-in shock absorber to cushion the bumps. Between each seat, you'll find this non-skid step pad that makes going to the back real easy without having to step on the seats. Also, there's the stainless steel grab rails for the passengers on those days when the waves are real big. And speaking of rough, if you've ever fell in before, you know how hard it is to get back in the boat. You'll appreciate the built-in stainless steel boarding ladder with a grab handle because you just never know. Taking care of the bass that I catch is paramount for me. If I have a fish die, it costs me at the weigh-in. The Z9 continues the great nitro tradition of awesome live wells. In fact, I haven't lost a bass because of a poor performing live well ever with my nitro. The key is the Guardian live well system with a recirculator, timer, pump out, and each live well has its own oxygen generation system that pumps O2 in the water and keeps the fish healthy even in hot weather. You know, one of the neat things about this Nitro Z9 is on these bad windy days, you know, we got bad weather in, we got a good chop on the water, it's got a big spacious deck, so you're not worrying around falling in the lake or anything like that, you got plenty of room to maneuver around. You know, on tournament days, it's all about time. We, we only got about eight hours on the day, so we have to maximize our time. And with the new Nitro Z9, you know, it, it takes that whole weather situation out of the picture. I mean, I'm gonna get there safely, I'm gonna get there dry, and I'm gonna get there quickly, a lot, a lot quicker than everybody else will. You know, weather is always an issue. The roughness of the water is always an issue. You know, you, you can't make up time. You know, time is our number one value. And when the water's rough, you've gotta go regardless. And, you know, you don't get beat and banged around in this Z9. It's a very solid boat. I mean, the boat is, is very sturdy. You know, I've been in a lot of rough water and I've been in a lot of different boats, but the Z9 is by far, it can handle anything. You know, one thing I can tell you about this boat, guys, it's got everything that you need to be a tournament angler, a weekend angler, bow to stern. The Nitro Z9 team has put everything that a boat could possibly need or want is in this boat right here. This new Z9 has a ton of features, but some of them that really stick out for me, the gas tank's forward. That enables the boat to ride better. Also, by doing that, it's got two huge storage boxes in the back. You can put a full-size tackle box in there. 